Hi everyone, it's Van Vu from Vietnam. Welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna talk about my first impression in Saigon. And if you follow my Instagram, which is Van Vu from Vietnam, you know that I just moved to Saigon, so everything is so new to me. The reason why I moved here is that I wanted to expand my network and I want to see what's the difference between Saigon and Hanoi. So yeah, today I'm just gonna take you guys around to enjoy the food, see the differences about the road, the people, people, the culture, etc. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video today and we'll talk about them later in this video. Also, if you want to learn more about Vietnamese culture, travel tips and hidden gems, don't forget to follow my channel. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to check out my merch at whatthefuvian.com. My first impression in Saigon is the weather. It's definitely hot, but it just rained very hard when I arrived to the restaurant. Uh, as you guys can see, the road is still wet and it just stopped raining. It's a rainy season in Saigon from May to November. I kind of expect that. Um, it's usually clear in the morning, rainy in the afternoon. So when you come here, remember to bring an umbrella. I like the weather here better because it's more consistent and more predictable than Hanoi. All right, I'm hungry now. Let's go to the restaurant and eat some bánh canh cua. Okay, so this is bánh canh cua, the seafood tapioca noodles. I was craving it so much when I was in Hanoi and this is my all-time favorite restaurant that I usually go to. It's called bánh canh cua 14. It's at 221 Chen Bing Chang in District 5. Mm. Bánh canh cua includes tapioca noodles, shrimp, crab, if you call the special one, they will include the, the pork slices in here and fish cake. I realize that most of the food in here is a lot sweeter, especially the broth. If you try pho or bánh canh cua in Saigon, the broth is more flavorful and sweeter. I feel like the food in Saigon is more sophisticated than the food in Hanoi. Um, they just have a lot of toppings in your bowl and they serve with extra veggies. Also, I love that they have fresh juice that is super affordable. This one is only like 18,000 Vietnam Dong and it's orange and carrot, super fresh. Look at this, like Saigonese, I'm not sure if they are influenced by American people, but they just fill up their eyes up to the top of the cup. And yeah, compared to Hanoi, Hanoian just have little eyes in their cup. I have very good impression with restaurants here because they are super clean. And I feel like some of the restaurants are cleaner than a restaurant in Hanoi. And I kind of know the reason why. It's because they only sell wet wipes. They don't serve tissues or napkins like in Hanoi. Uh, you actually have to pay extra for this. And when you pay extra, you're not gonna waste it, right? You just only use one of this save the environment. And another thing is that um, because it's wet white, it's heavier, so that's why the fan cannot like blow it on the floor, accidentally blow it on the floor. And yeah, people just keep it on the table or they just throw it in the trash. And that's the reason why you see the floor is super clean, the restaurant is super clean. So yeah, very smart. But tip for you is whenever you go to restaurant in Saigon, Bring your own napkin or your own wet wipes so that you won't have to spend too much money on this. In terms of customer service, people here are very nice and very professional. Um, usually I have to film in restaurant and I need to ask for permission. In here, they're just very easy going and they just tell me to film whatever I need to. So it's very, very nice. Um, another note is that people here have more personal space, I feel like. Because in Hanoi, people would just like stare at me when I film or... Um, I don't know, like they're just very curious about what I'm doing. But in here, it's like, hey, I don't mind what you're doing, it's not my business. So, I really like it. Looks like it starts to rain again, so I'm gonna go to my favorite coffee shop to work. This coffee shop's called The Workshop, which has beautiful industrial style. I'm working on my marketing projects right now, and if you don't know, besides YouTube, I'm a marketer. I help people build their personal brand and turn their hobbies to make a living online. 
That's why I work closely with Squarespace because they have uniquely awesome templates to build your online presence. If you want to be a blogger or have your own e-commerce store, you can easily do it on Squarespace because they have all the essential tools for you, such as email marketing, analytics, and even scheduling. What I love the most about Squarespace is that they have webinars and forums to teach new people how to use Squarespace and connect with the community. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash whatthefall to save 10% off the first purchase of your website or domain. So my third impression here is the traffic. It's way more organized than the traffic in Hanoi. And if you're from other country and you first came to Vietnam, you're gonna say this girl is crazy. But trust me, like if you've been to Hanoi first and then go to Saigon, it's way more organized. I know in general, Vietnamese traffic is very chaotic, but the roads in Saigon are wider and the police don't allow people to sell stuff um, on the sidewalk. So we actually have the actual sidewalk to walk on. More cars here, I feel like, and less honking. Um, also, they have separate lanes for cars and motorbikes. So uh, it's very organized. However, I'm still scared of crossing the road here, uh, especially during rush hour. So my tip for you is that you shouldn't stop suddenly, you shouldn't run, just go with a um, steady pace so that people can predict your speed, uh, so they can just swerve around you. If you're too scared, just go with a local. <laughs> or you can just like raise your hand like this, like stop, stop. So I'm actually in a grab car right now and I have to say, it's very hard to get a grab here in Saigon. There are a lot of Vinasan and uh, Myling taxis, but the grab and the B here are very, very hard to book. I'm not sure why, is that rush hour or people just quit? I think Gojek is the option that I'm gonna try next time. But um, B here is actually more expensive than Grab. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, fun fact about Grab cars here, since I came here, which is like three days ago, uh, Grab cars, they use bigger cars here compared to Grab cars in Hanoi. And I kind of know the reason why is because um, they have two season, rain, rainy and dry season. So when it rains, it rains like it's flooded so that's why people want to buy higher and bigger car to avoid flood or like avoid the water to get into the engine so yeah okay so it looks like it stopped raining right now I'm gonna go to a walking street to watch the, uh, the game between Vietnam and Timorless Saigon is a sleepless city with energetic people. You can find street food anywhere at any time in this beautiful city. People are generous, kind, and dynamic. Last but not least, I have to say, Saigonese people are patriotic. Come to Vietnam during soccer season and you know why.
has won. I am so, so happy. It's still very crowded over there. So I just want to move here to say that Vietnam has won and I'm very, very happy to be here in this dynamic vibe and with very friendly people. And if you are about to come to Vietnam or you have come to Vietnam or you came to Vietnam, please leave it down in the comment below. What's your first impression, okay? And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.